Cancer. But let's have a look and see what's coming up for the sign of Cancer in regards to love. First and foremost. Okay, some of you have a new connection that's taking um, form, okay, with the Ace of Wands. This is the hand of God, the universe, the angels, your spirit guides that might be offering you a new love connection or an opportunity to act on and renew an existing one. The Ace of Wands is an opportunity to act. It's an opportunity to take initiative, to take things in, in your hands. Um, so it's, it's really what you do with a loved one. It's really how you go from here. Now, I love that the long-term card here is, is here as well in the form of the Three of Wands. This is planning for the future. This is having a long-term vision or someone coming into your life who wants long-term connections with you somehow. So they've been thinking about this. They might be expressing these views. Um, there, could e there could even be travel opportunities or you potentially moving abroad to be closer to someone you love or this person moving closer to you. I do sense that for some of you there is a long distance connection that's being formed um, and it might be it might turn out to be a long um, a long term relationship. So the star card, the two of ones, there might be a lot of back and forth, um, you know, distance can create a bit of tension, but I do feel for the most part that this could be um, that this could be quite promising. You've got good good cards next to that sort of connection here. Now, for some of you, the Three of Wands is a third party situation, and you can see that also present in the Five of Cups card, where the three, uh, three of these cups have spilt. Three lives intertwined, three cups, a third party situation, a tripartite, whether it was another person, an ex, or another priority that influenced the relationship. For some of you, this situation is ongoing. If you're involved with someone and you know that there's another person in the picture, I feel like somehow you're linked to this situation long term unless you break free of it. Remember, you've got opportunity to act, to break away from the norm, to end a cycle. Um, and there's the ending. You know, you don't want betrayals. And I think for, for some of you, this is affairs or scandals or hurting the other. And it is your time to level up. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. There is a situation you can remedy. There is a situation you can fix. You can um, increase it. You can um, work hard on it. And for a lot of you, it, it could even be an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo, who's working very hard for your affections. The Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in the hard work. It's not so much what you say, it's what you do. So actions will speak louder than words. For a lot of you uh, Cancerians watching and the connections that you're involved with. For some of you there could be a romantic um, a romantic connection in a work setting and especially for those that have concentrated very much so on career or cre creative pursuits excuse me suddenly there might be someone who's going to catch your eye okay it might, might distract you from your job for a little bit you might feel all sorts of emotions Coming up as the Queen of Cups, she's very empathetic, she's very um, emotionally charged, she's she's all about compassion, she's femininity, she's grace, she's elegance, she holds the Holy Grail here. Someone could make you feel very, very special this month, Cancer. Very loved. They could confess their love. Or well, this is you feeling pity or sadness or empathy for someone you've been dealing with. You still care, Cancer. There's still a part of you that's still attached. Whether you're displaying these feelings or not, the Four of Pentacles holds his cards close to his chest. He doesn't reveal everything. There might be feelings that you're denying towards someone. And likewise, this person might be denying feelings towards you. And suddenly you know you've got the both of you trying to hide your feelings the both of you are here trying to hide your feelings for each other when really opportunity that the universe is opening up doors for you to act or rebuild something but some of you are choosing not to do that and maybe you're in two minds about it 
Maybe you're not in a healthy mind state to make a permanent, long-lasting decision. Maybe you need to wait until you clear the air. You need to wait until you have more knowledge. Remember, Aquarius is a very knowledgeable sign. They're very switched on. They're very well aware, self-aware about what's happening around them. Maybe you need to come into more of that energy until you make that final decision. But there'll be a lot of self-evolution, self-growth and healing that'll occur for you. So I, I like what I'm seeing, I am. But I do feel like there's a destined person around you, at least a fire sign or an Aquarius that is around you that's destined to be in your life, um, destined to uh, give you love or compassion, whatever it is that they're offering you. Let's move on and have a look at your um, career, however, and see how that's sort of panning out for you. Uh, during this time cancer so pick up these cards and let's peek into your career or business Okay, possibly a bit of dysfunction coming in. Uh, five of Wands can be seen as dysfunction or the lack of ability to build solid foundations. Especially if you're working in um, collaborative projects, creative projects, or in a team environment, I do feel like there might be some tensions. These tensions might come from a fire sign, an Aries, a Sag, or a Leo. Could even be an air sign that might be causing a bit of tension. Um, or it's a, it's a period where you need to clear the air in a certain situation. But the five of ones could also be competition, okay? Um, if you're in a business setting, you might have another a, a business very similar that comes to prominence and it creates competition. It might be that you're investigating your competitors more or that they're upping their game, okay? And suddenly that could create a bit of stress and stress has shown up in the form of the nine of swords. It could be that someone's words linger um, in career or in business. It could be someone's feedback, it might be a customer, it could be uh, someone you work with, internal, it could be a colleague, it could be a boss. King of Wands is here, he's, a, he's an authoritative figure. Uh, but these words are going to stay with you, they're going to keep you up at night. Potentially, um, you know, a lot of planning that I think needs to happen in a business setting or in career. Nine of Swords is someone who's potentially overwhelmed at a certain situation, overwhelmed by a situation and doesn't know how to plan things and that's why these thoughts creep up in, at, in the night time and it's overwhelming so I feel for a lot of you there might be planning um, or even meditation might help to ease or take away the stress from a certain situation. Maybe there's a lot of pressure. The King of Wands can apply pressure, okay? Um, he can be forceful sometimes. But that's only because he's passionate about what he does. So don't know if this is a male or a female coming in cancer, but this person could um, put quite a bit of pressure on you uh, during this time. Uh, now for some of you, the Four of Cups is here, which I really like because I do feel like there's an unexpected offer or an unexpected idea, something you didn't see coming or a new person who's going to help you on your path in career or in business. Um, it could be an idea. It's coming from the hand of God and you do have that star card here. So there's potential to um, dazzle things up a little bit. There's potential to add something new. There's potential to take something and run with it. And I think you absolutely will. And you are the cups sitting here by the tree of life. So I do feel like there's a lot of growth that can happen in career or a lot of changes that can happen in career potentially over the next four weeks. Some of you might be complacent, okay? He's sitting there and he looks pretty stable and comfortable where he is. So some of you might be really complacent where you are in a business or in a company, but there might be another opportunity that makes its path to you. And I think for a part of you, it, it could be a creative opportunity. You've got the page of cups which represents the sign of Pisces. Pisces is a very, very creative sign. They're the dreamists of the um, zodiac. They're the escapists. So it could be a creative pursuit, but they're also very dual. So you might be going back and forth if you actually want this. And again, that duality is further supported by the two of ones, the notion of suddenly you have options. 
you can leave what you're comfortable with, what you've done for X amount of months or years, um, what you know, or you can go into something new. And a lot of you, for a lot of you, this opportunity could be quite exciting. Um, the opportunity could promise relocation, uh, movement, lots of variety. The King of Wands likes variety, needs variety. So for a lot of you, there's an opportunity to have more variety on the job front or in the creative sphere as well. For some of you, there's um, a relocation or an opportunity to travel with work. Now, it might not be very far. It might be to a different country, maybe to a different continent. For some of you, it could just be to a different city, but it's going to boost your motivation a little bit. So if that opportunity arises, I think it'll be good for you, Cancer, to sort of have that change of scenery because the King of Wands craves that. And if that's coming up in your career, then it might be a time to switch things up a little bit or introduce um, more variety or versatility into your career or into your business. Um, it could even be starting a business that moves around like a mobile business as well for some of you. Um, but again, you need to watch your competitors because I don't feel like there'll be a shortage of those this month for you, unfortunately. Um, but look, I will leave it at that, Cancer. I do hope this reading has been helpful for you. I do want to thank you for tuning 